All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you how we can check if particular text contains a word or a phrase. And we'll do this for Excel and Google Sheets. And then later, I'll give you a couple of extra tips if you're a Google Sheets user. But for now, we're going to start with something that works for both platforms, Excel and Google Sheets. So I'm going to add a column here. So here, I want to check if these occupations contain the word specialist. So if you look here, we have specialist here, specialist here. Maybe there are more. If we keep scrolling down, I'm sure there's going to be more. There it is. Uh, no, the scientists, but there it is, marketing specialist. Anyways, we want to check if they contain the word specialist. There are multiple ways to do it. My favorite way usually is to use match function. So match function usually will search uh, for a value in a column or a row, but we're going to use it in a little different way in this case. So what I'm going to do match function will have the first value, which is what we're searching for. Now, what we're searching for is the word specialist comma, and then the range where you're searching for. So for me, the range is just going to be one cell this one cell comma and the type of match. So you want to make sure you don't miss this one. So it's going to be zero for exact match. Now, if I close this and hit enter, that will give me NA because it was not able to find specialist in here. If I drag this down, it will not find specialist in any of them because by default, this is searching for an exact match, which means this needs to be exactly the word specialist for this to match. So if we had a word specialist here, let's just do one. So we can test it right now. See, it would give me one because it was able to find the word specialist. Otherwise it gives me NA. So what's nice about this function, however, is that it can accept wildcard. So what I can do, I can go here and instead of just typing specialist, I can do star specialist star, and now it will work as contains sort of search. So if I hit enter and drag this formula down, what we're going to see now is that anything that contains the word specialist, see here, 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 it's all going to be picked up with that number one and anything else is basically NA because it was not able to find it. Now, if you don't want to deal with NAs and ones, you can just convert this to true and false by simply wrapping this whole thing inside of is number function. So parentheses there, parentheses to close this whole thing in the end, that should be on the same line, it just doesn't fit. But anyways, I hit enter, see it gives me false because it doesn't contain that word. And if I drag this down, you'll see it's true for cases when there is the word specialist here, specialist here, and specialist here. Now what I like about this method with match function is because because of the way it works and you can use wildcards, you can also do like starts with ends with sort of things really easily without trying to change a lot of your code. So if I just go here and remove this first star in this and just leave the star in the end, now I will be searching for anything that starts with the word specialist. So if I'd enter and drag this down, you'll see that this is the only true I get because that's the only one that starts with the word specialist. Now, just to show you that anything that starts with the word specialist would work, let me add specialist in here. And by the way, it doesn't have to have the space here. It would still pick that up. See the word specialist, it's true, true, that starts with. And we can also just change this star position and then put the star just in the beginning. So now it will be searching for anything that ends with the word specialist, which means if I drag this down, we're going to get a true here because, well, that's the word. And this one, see, ends with specialist. So again, we got true for all the other cases we get false. Or you can do contains by simply just doing star from both sides. Like this. You can also do multiple wildcards in the statement. So for example, you can say, I want something that has SP, then a star, then list. In this case, so this is a specialist, this is specialist, this is specialist, this is specialist, see it's matching all of them. 
but it will also match something that, for example, says something like this. So it doesn't say special, it is say a spec list. And because it's SP followed with some letters and list, it's a match. So basically, star in this case stands for zero or more characters. You're saying in this position where I put the star, there could be some characters, but there could also be nothing, which means if there was a word SP without anything between P and list, it would still be a match. So let me show you. So if this was SP list, it's still true because it's SP followed by list and this also matches zero characters. There is a second wildcard that you can use in this statement, which is the question mark. I don't know if I have a good use case for this here, but maybe I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it in here. That's fine, straight address, just to show you a use case, I guess. It's not gonna be the greatest use case, but it will be fine. So let's say I wanted to find all the cases where we have a street address where it starts with a four character in the beginning and then there is a space after the fourth character. So the way I could do that, I could do that match function, not max, match. And then in my statement, I could say question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, which would mean four characters and then a space and then star, which means more characters after that, comma, and then I'll be searching for that in here, and this is the zero type match. So if I hit enter, this is not a match because it's four question marks here and a space, and here we have three characters and a space. That's not a match. But if I drag this down, you'll see it's a match for all of these because we have four characters and a space. And then again, you could take this and put it inside of is number function to convert it to trues and falses and then drag it down and it just works fine. So we get trues for everything that starts with like four characters. So question mark basically just means one character while star means zero or more characters. And most of the time when you use the statements, you might want to take this and put it inside of like an if function. So this gives us falses and trues. You might want to react to like the ones that you were able to find. So for example, if I just, I'm just gonna convert this to specialist. There it is. So now if I drag this down, it should just say true for anything that contains the word specialist, which is great. So now I can take this whole thing and put it inside of like an if function and say if that is true, so comma after that, so this whole thing that we had before now sits as a first parameter inside of this if function, so comma, what do we want to happen if that's true? I wanna say yes, or really you could just put any word in here in quotes or formulas if necessary, and then no. If you want to learn more about if function, I have a video about just if function, maybe just watch that. But for now, I'm just gonna say yes when it's a specialist and no when it's not. So now I'm gonna hit enter, and if I drag this down, it's just gonna say yes for anything that contains the word specialist. And here we can just label the column. And that will work like that. Now you might also sometimes want to link to something in your sheet. So let's say I just want to type the word specialist and whatever I search here on top, that's what I want this formula to search, right? So what I need to do, I need to replace this part with whatever is in the cell on top. And I can do that by using concatenation. So I still need the stars, but I don't want to put the stars in here. Now you could just simply just go here and say, star specialist star and then go to your formula, remove all of this and just link to that cell. And because I need to drag this formula down and I want this to stick to the cell on top, I will also lock that cell by adding some dollar signs. So this would work but most of the time you don't want to put those stars in here. You just want to just put the word 
like specialist. And by the way, you can see it's not case sensitive. So that's that. So now see, it's only matching when it's exactly specialist. Otherwise it's no. So what we can do now, we can just do a little concatenation here. So I can just put a star in quotation and then do ampersand to concatenate a star in the beginning of that. And then do another ampersand and put another star in the end. Again, stars will go in quotes because that's our own text we add. And this way we don't have to put the stars on top here. So now if I don't want to search for specialist, Maybe I want to search for manager. See, I changed that. Now this one contains manager. It says yes, the rest are no. So again, all of this will work in Excel or Google Sheets. Now let's talk about something that will only work in Google Sheets because Google Sheets, in addition to these, also has some nice extra functions that we can use here. So let's do those. And Google Sheets has this function for regular expression matches. So we can do regex match, that one. And for this function, the first one is text, the second one is regular expression. So the text is gonna be this text. And regular expression is gonna be your expression in quotes. So if you know regular expression, you can do a lot of things with regular expression with more complicated matches. But by default, if I just type specialist, that will be like contains, just like that. So it should give me true for anything that has the word specialist, see, and false for anything that's not. So I don't have to use that is number or any of the other stuff. If you wanted anything that starts with specialist, you can put a caret, which in regular expression means starts with in the beginning. So if I drag this down, now I should get trues for anything that starts with that specialist word. There it is. If I wanted something that ends with specialist in regular expression, the way you do ends with, you just do a dollar sign in the end. So this will be ends with statement and it should give us true for anything that ends with the word specialist. And you could pretty much do any other regular expression you wanted here which could give you a lot of extra types of matches you could do that would otherwise not be possible. One other thing to think about though with this statement is that this is actually case sensitive, unlike, you know, match example with it. So right now, if I change this specialist to uppercase S, it's no longer match, see? So a way around this, if you don't want to deal with this being case sensitive, you can enclose the cell reference, which has the word inside of a lower function, which will convert that text to lowercase and then we'll do a lowercase match. So now no matter if we have uppercase or lowercase, this should just work fine. So if I change this to uppercase S, you can see it's still gonna match. You can also do all kinds of interesting matches. So for example, here, let's say I want to find every street address in here that starts with three or four digits. So let's actually change some of this. Something like this. So now I want to create a regular expression that will match every three or four digit number in the beginning. So the way I can do that, I can do that with, again, regex match function, and the text is gonna be this, and the regular expression is gonna be, so I need three or four digits in the beginning, and the way we can do that, I wanna say it starts with, with a caret, and then I'm gonna do this D, which means one number, so I want to say it's either three or four, and the way you can do that, you can do this curly brackets, and then do three comma four. So basically I'm saying between three and four characters. You can do like two to five, something like that. And then, well, actually let me close this and show you what's gonna happen for now. So I'm gonna drag this down so you can see what we get. So you can see we get true for this, we get falses for these two, we get true for this, but we also get true for these numbers because for this regular expression, it's still 
three or four digits in the beginning. So we need to say that after those three and four digits, we want a space to not have this cases when it's matching this. So the way we can do that, we can just go back and just literally just type a space here. That should work. So I'm just going to drag this down now. So you can see now it doesn't match this one. It doesn't match this one. So just like that, you could also use the regular expression space thing, which is this S, which would produce the same results in this case. So I'm just going to do the space. That's fine. That's easier. So you can see this gives you more advantages, but then you have to learn about regular expression, which is not that easy to learn, to be honest with you. If you want to learn more about regular expressions, I have bunch of videos about regular expression functions in Google Sheets. Maybe you can watch those. But in the end of the day, once you got your regular expression, then you can take that and put it inside of your if function again. You can say if this comma, then I'm going to say something. So I'm just going to say yes, comma. Otherwise, I'm going to say no. Close parentheses, hit enter. So now it's going to say yes for every three to four digit number in front and no for everything else. And that should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.